What's that? What did you just say? Oh, I love you too. We just, we just belong together. Hi everyone, it's Tara here from One Heart Many Hats. And today I'm going to be making a wonderful turkey sausage and kale soup. Doesn't that sound yummy? So it's just one of those stay at home days. All I've done is go to the gym and I took the kids to and from their enrichment classes because I homeschool my kids. But we're going to have a yummy soup. Everything that I bought here, I bought from Aldi. So I spent probably 10 bucks is what I was calculating, about $10 or less to make this soup. And it should be done in about 30 minutes or less. So keep watching and I'll show you how I'm, how I'm gonna make this. Okay, so here you have all of the ingredients that I'll be using to make the soup. I've pre-chopped some or diced some onion, carrots, and celery. I've got my one pound of mild Italian turkey sausage chicken broth, some diced um, zucchini, cannellini beans, minced garlic, and of course a bag of chopped kale. So um, I'm going to start by browning the turkey sausage. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you in just a sec. So what I've done is I've started with a drizzle of olive oil and I, to that I've added the entire pound of mild turkey sausage. You can use hot if you like it spicier or maybe do half and half, but I thought the mild would be appropriate for my kids. Once this is all cooked up, I'm going to transfer it into a separate bowl. I have Now it's time to add the onion, celery, and carrots. I have half of one onion. I have about four small carrots here and three celery stalks. I've added all of the veggies to the pot along with some salt and pepper and I'm going to add one teaspoon of minced garlic to that. You know what? We're going to make it two teaspoons. So I'm just going to stir this and let it sweat out a little bit before I put the turkey back in, the turkey sausage that is, and the beans in there, and the um, the zucchini so it's looking good so far this is the fun part now I just get to dump everything in I've dumped the cannellini bean, beans inside I had a 15 ounce can and I'm gonna put all of my turkey sausage in there along with the juices I put the juice from the beans in there too and then um, this is one zucchini diced up um, I diced it small because that's what's going to help this soup to cook faster. Everything's cut small, so it should soften up in no time. Done, lickety, slick. So, there we go. Look at all of that food that I have. Oh my, I might need one more carton of broth than I thought, but that's okay. I've got an extra. And, um... The kale is going to go very last, at the very end, once this has um, come to a boil and has simmered for a little bit, I'll throw the kale at the end because it doesn't really have to cook much. It just really wants to be kind of wilted or softened. So I'm going to add my stock or my vegetable broth and let it cook. Now I'm going to add the entire carton of vegetable broth. Glug, glug, glug. And after this has simmered for a while and the flavors are starting to come together, I will taste it to see if I need any more spices. I might add some more Italian seasoning in there, but the sausage is usually so flavorful that I don't have to add much else to this. So that was the, the whole carton. And I think I need probably another couple of cups of vegetable broth, so I'm going to add that. And then when I come back, it'll be time to add the kale. Ooh, I wish we had smell-o-vision right now because this smells so good. It's been cooking for about 
almost 15 minutes. It took a little bit for it to come to a boil and then I reduced it to a simmer and it's been simmering for close to um, five minutes or so and the veggies are already have already softened. The carrots are definitely done. I've tasted it and I added a little bit more salt and pepper and I think it does need a little bit of the Italian seasoning. So this is about how much of the Italian seasoning that I'm adding. I would guess that that's maybe close to a teaspoon. And I've switched from a spatula to an actual spoon here. And the last step is going to be to add the kale. I'm going to add two handfuls, which I'm going to have to guess is about two cups of kale. Then I'm just going to dunk it in here. Kale, you get to go for a swim. Here we go. Put the lid on it, and I'll give it a minute, just long enough for that kale to soften up and um, also to, so it's not cold anymore because I stored it in the freezer. And then we'll get to taste it. All right, now I get to try it. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so good. Pardon me while I stuff myself. Yum. It's really simple, really delicious. There's, I mean, there's nothing like a bowl of home, homemade soup. So I can't help myself. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add some crushed red pepper flake or maybe some hot sauce. I, I'm, I'm half Mexican. I'm a Latina, as some like to say, and so I might add some tapatillo sauce. If you've never heard, let me show you. It's this guy right here. This guy. He's my BFF, he's my homie, and he just makes my soups taste so much better. So I'm gonna add a little of this. You might think that that's gonna ruin it. But that's okay, it's fine, you don't have to eat it. This is just how I'm gonna do it. But I thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you'll give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel where I share all things related to my life as a mom. I've been sharing homeschool videos, some beauty re videos, more recipes, my weight loss journey, and I even got my husband to join along on my weight loss journey. So it's been great and I hope that you will subscribe and, um, and we can just do this mom stuff together. See you soon, bye bye.